I'm out here in the chicken coop and I've gotten a lot of questions about this automatic door opener. Does it survive the winter? How does it operate? You know, am I gonna have troubles with it? And then there was other comments that said, it's just too expensive. Someone just recently posted that if you look on eBay and other uh, websites, you can find this thing for 30 bucks. I picked one up just to see, is it as good as the original? And in this video, we're gonna see whether a $200 coupe opener is better than a $30 coupe opener. Here's the $30 automatic coupe door installed. It installs virtually the same as the uh, original Run Chicken model. It's got six screws, three on each side. It's got the housing on top that has a gear in the back with the door that has slots cut into it. You put the batteries in and it opens the coupe door. So that seems pretty good for a uh, for 30 bucks compared to 200. Now the original run chicken model, it was $160 when I got this one and people were a little put off by that price. A $30 model would seemingly be a heck of a lot better. And when you look at it, I mean, they're identical. <laughs> I mean, the design and everything. I think run chicken ought to sue these people for uh, ripping off their design, but they're uh, again, virtually identical. Now there's actually a couple of uh, significant differences between them. On the run chicken model, this is powder coated aluminum. The uh, $30 model is plastic. So point to uh, run chicken right there on a much more durable, and I would even say some more secure uh, door than the uh, $30 version. I, I would imagine a determined animal could probably get through the the plastic if it wanted to. The other uh, difference, to change the batteries in this, and I haven't had to change the batteries yet since I've installed them in this uh, run chicken, I don't know how many months it is now, six, seven, eight months, something like that. So they don't use up much energy. This uh, model doesn't use up much energy. But to access the, uh, the batteries, you gotta take this off. Uh, this piece has to come off and you get the batteries from the back. On the plastic model, the Chinese ripoff, the battery door is right in front. So that's far more convenient. So a point to uh, <laughs> the Chinese for uh, their battery placement. Now this one is advertised as being waterproof and on their website, they actually show uh, a video of them sticking one of these in a uh, pan of water, submerging it in a pan of water and it still operates. I'm not going to try it with that. <laughs> they don't say it's waterproof, and I don't think it is. Even so, I've got it mounted on the outside of my coop. So well, I'll actually find out, I guess, eventually whether or not it is uh, waterproof. This has worked flawlessly, absolutely flawlessly. There's been no uh, issues at all. Opens when it's supposed to, closes when it's supposed to. Chickens have never been trapped outside. It's been absolutely perfect. I can't praise this thing high enough. But with inflation running rampant, supply chain issues, the price has gone up. It's almost $200 now. I get that's that's a nut to crack for a lot of people. You know, a $30 option certainly seems a better deal. So let's uh, put it through those paces. Oh, another key difference between them. This is programmable. It's got a couple of different programs uh, that you can use as to when it's gonna open and close how long the delay is before the door closes, you know, after the uh, sun goes down. And it's, you know, it's light sensitive. So it's based on sunrise, sunset, but you do have uh, some uh, programmability built into it. On the Chinese version, it's not. They <laughs> call it plug and play. You put the batteries in, it opens up in daylight, closes down in dark. Is that gonna be enough time? Who knows? We have to we have to see that. So another point to uh, run chicken for having a, a program for having programmability. So let's see how this operates. I haven't uh, given it a shot yet. I started to put the batteries in, and I said, "Oh, you know what? Let me film this first. So we'll put the battery in. Let's see. Let's see. And so. All three batteries are in, takes three AA batteries. I think that's what the run chicken does. 
uh, but I'm not certain. Now we'll turn it on. <laughs> I think the chickens can get through that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm pretty certain I don't have this thing cranked down. As a matter of fact, I know I don't have those screws cranked down on this just because I was cognizant of it when I did the run chicken one that it tells you not to tighten the screws down too tight, uh, that it uh, could pinch the uh, door and could cause the uh, door to catch. But to, in all fairness, I got a screwdriver here. I'm gonna loosen up the screws and then we'll try again. Okay, I've backed out all six screws, about a quarter turn or so, and I've got four screws holding this panel into the, uh, the frame of the coop, and I've backed them out as well. I mean, I don't know why <laughs> pressing it on the sides there would have any effect on the uh, door, but just to be uh, on the safe side. I mean, it's still in there secure. It's not going anywhere. So I'm not concerned about that. So I'm gonna push this door down again. Now it tells you to line up the gear with the first uh, uh, hole when you install it. I'll admit, I don't know if the first, uh, <laughs> if the gear is lined up on the first hole, but I mean, it's not that far off. That should be uh, good. So, put this in the off position again. All right, put in the battery. And now let's turn it on. <laughs> I think that's even lower. <laughs> Maybe I need to uh, tighten the screws. I'm gonna try that. All right, I've tightened down the screws tad. Put the battery in. It's in the off position. Okay. Oh, let me put the door down. I'm not gonna put it down all the way. There. <laughs> I don't think that's all the way down that it's not engaging the gear. And let me just try and bring it up. No, that's gotta be down. To have it underneath. Turn it off. <laughs> well, I guess tightening the screws didn't help at all. <laughs> the other thing is, I don't know, could a raccoon get its claws in there and push that up? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> My advice? Stay away from the cheap ones. You get what you pay for. Piece of garbage, 30 bucks. That's a hundred and six, okay, $200 nowadays. On Amazon, I think that's the cheapest I saw it. Maybe if you look around, you could probably maybe find them a couple bucks cheaper. But again, with inflation and uh, supply chain issues and everything else, it's not surprising prices gone, have gone up. But say $200, that thing has been flawless. And like I said, it's made out of aluminum. So it's sturdy and it's not easy at all. And I'm not gonna screw up the door to push that down because the gear engages the door. Not like this, where there's hardly any engagement at all on the, uh, on the gears. Avoid that and I would buy that again. No questions asked on my, uh, uh, original video and I'll copy it down below again. There's a 10% off coupon that Run Chicken is offering for viewers of my video. So that would knock about 20 bucks off the price of the uh, door and uh, putting it back at what the uh, close to what the original uh, price was. Again, I did it before and I highly endorse Run Chicken again. It was uh, awesome. That's a piece of crap. So I wanted to see what the malfunction was here, why this wasn't opening up. And this is how they tell you that the gear has to engage the uh, track. And 
to get it to operate. Now what I noticed is it actually, if you look down here, let me see if I can, I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's actually a gap between the bottom and the door. So let's see what happens when you turn it on. The door is not catching. <laughs> it, it, it needs to be pressed against this housing here. And now it's trying to close it because I turned it upside down. <laughs> Initially, when I took this off and was looking at it, it was, the gear wasn't engaged in the holes when this was fully down and it couldn't grab on to the door, to the track, to pull it up. Once I pushed, like just slight pressure against it and the uh, gear caught, the door went up smoothly. And as you just saw, it, it's, it's almost as if when it's in this position, it can't actually lift the door. Here, I'm gonna try it again. And keep my finger pressing it against the side. I have, it has to have the pressure back here all the time. Like behind the housing, it needs to have the pressure back there so that it can engage. Otherwise, this flexes too much, engage the gear. Is that something that can be fixed? I don't know, is there a shim I can stick underneath here to kind of press? Maybe? Yeah, so I was gonna say, that maybe I need to screw it down harder, but there's actually space, there's air there <laughs> in between the, uh, the housing and the door. So maybe a piece of you know, a very thin shim to hold this in place. But you shouldn't have to do that. Even if you're spending only $30, you shouldn't have to do that. Try to come up with workarounds to make uh, a product work. Don't waste your money on it. Go with the original. But I'm gonna try and stick a shim under there and see what happens. So I think I may have come up with a, uh, a hack to get this thing to work. So it's definitely the door right behind, right along the side of the gears here, needs to be pushed up against this housing. Those are um, dividers for a plastic tray. And they're, I don't know, they're pretty thin. That is uh, like a millimeter or two millimeters uh, thick. So I super glued them to the wood backing right on either side of uh, the gear housing. And since they're plastic, the plastic door uh, slides up and down between them, but it also provides the pressure for the door to engage the uh, hook, uh, the gear. So let me show you. Stick the uh, battery in. Turn it on. And now it goes up. Now, <laughs> does it go up completely? So there's that. The chickens ought to be able to get through there for now. Since I did cut a hole in my uh, coop, I'm going to uh, reinstall this for tonight, but I'm gonna end up uh, returning this and just putting a piece of plywood over the uh, uh, thing. But it, it can work <laughs> if you hack it, which you shouldn't have to do, as I said, even for $30. So. A Chinese uh, knockoff, and it is a ripoff, and Run Chicken really ought to sue them for design uh, stealing. But uh, who the hell in China is going to prosecute anyone? So uh, there it is. It's a piece of junk. All right. Thanks for watching.